right guys this is Fony Ari Gold uh, this is my first day doing Postmates uh, I just thought I should try it and uh, see how it works and I just put some uh, videos here I did Postmates uh, one year ago in not one year ago but in December of last year 2016 for uh, two weeks and it was actually fun I just uh, just did it for like, extra cash for, for the holidays and it was fun but I didn't have a vlog back then and so I didn't really like record anything so I just decided that this time when I try it I should uh, I can, I'd like to record this and also give some tips on how the newest uh, Postmate works and how the uh, delivers are and the rules and the new stuff, new tips that I can help you guys too eat if you want to drive um, for Postmates and uh, work for Postmates. So here I am, it's my first job, I'm going to activate my Postmates app right here. Hopefully everything's already like updated. Uh, I have my card from last year that I kept right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and activate now by clicking on go online I understand the newest thing that is up to date right now it's it's uh, if we deliver any alcohol or cigarettes or any kind of a thing that requires age we need to scan the back of the uh, license of the person which is I guess it's in the back so that, that that's what I learned but uh, anyways uh, this is my first postmate so I'm gonna call this a postmates day one and uh, I'll let you know how it goes and if any tips that comes with your, my way and I'll, I'll, I'll definitely give you more tips that I usually did last year and I got a lot of money I got like up to thousand dollars of tips just from a week of work uh, which is really good and actually no, from two weeks of work I have five hundred dollars of tips each week uh, working five days so that was not bad, that, that's actually really really good so and uh, I will show you some stuff later on of how things go etc so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it now as we speak, just right in front of you guys. I have my bag ready here. Do the post meeting thingies, so let's do this. Here I go guys. Wish me the best, best, best luck and best the best best patience. And we are ready to roll. Go online, there you go. Let's see if call are gonna come right away. I am officially online. Still loading. See, we're waiting. We're good there. Still no jobs, waiting. There we go, set. See, one job came, guys. It's a Chick fil A. So let's do this. I guess that's what it was. Ten. Okay, we got a job guys, it's to Chick-fil-A, we have to pick up a Chick-fil-A order and uh, drop it off to the person, so let's see how it works, Chick-fil-A it is, Chick, 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 Chick is like check, so we're going to check, if we're getting a check, we check, <laughs> just kidding, order a large drink, oh, I have to order a large, oh, okay, I have to order for him, so they ordered a large drink, a spicy chicken sandwich, ketchup, chocolate chunk cookie, waffle fries. Okay. I have to add a receipt. That's what they ordered, guys. It's all that stuff. You can see it. I don't believe it, but. Okay. So we're good. We're on time. I'm just gonna. I used to be really good at this, of like accepting the job, writing the stuff, and telling the person I'm on my way, but now it's just like, I'm a little rusty, but I will get better very soon, so it's not a big deal. Hey guys, let's do this. The first job in 2017, so we gotta make a good impression here. This order, I have to order it myself, because uh, it is not, they're not, I just have a contract with Postmates, so they don't do it like over the phone, like an online order. So I gotta do it myself, which is okay. I've done it before, not a Postmates, not a Postmates, not at the uh, Chicken Chick Fil A, but I've done it in other places. So. Hey yeah, guys, so I'll give you some tips from what I did learned last time. Since I don't wanna, I don't want to waste six minutes. So pretty much the way I work is every time I pick up any order, I make a little cool like little uh, intro, of, like a little message to the customer, and I'll just uh, copy and paste and paste, 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 paste of saying, I just picked up your order. Uh, my name is. Um, this is this and I'm, I'm, I'm out with which order 
So the person will know that that person is actually on its way. You know, I mean, the app says that that person is on its way, but when you are, when you actually send in that message, you are more personable. So that's a really good good way of making the customer feel that okay, someone is literally there and they're actually coming to me. You know, and it's not just a app showing that. And then uh, this way, then when I will get that, I would just say thank you, thank you so very much, and uh, enjoy. You know, that's what I will say. And anyway, so I would just uh, converse for a second, just because. That uh, like that a few seconds uh, really got me tips, you know. I uh, let's say an order that is like ten dollars, I'll get like a five dollar tip. So that's a really good deal. So there's time that I'll get like ten dollars on a five dollar tip because of, I guess because I just have good energy and I and I just deliver with a smile. I don't just look like I hate this thing, you know. So I have to just show them that you actually appreciate them and their order, so and their time, so and you just wish them good. Bon appetit and um, they're happy so. and uh, yeah so pretty much communication is really important for you guys to get more tips second is time you gotta make sure you're, you're punctual um, you don't just uh, you're not late and if you're late tell the customers so they'll know so they won't sit there and just wait for you just because you know without any um, explanation of what's really going on and make sure you are informative of your status if you're gonna be late or, or, or if you're gonna be early or even when you get there you can just text them which I usually do too. I would tell, tell them, hey, I just got here, I'm outside a uh, gray Prius, per se, like my car is a Prius. So, and in case there's no parking, so that the person will know which car to uh, walk to, you know? So yeah, it's their time that there's no parking. And so you literally cannot really leave your car in the middle of the street because it's a no stopping zone, so it's literally almost impossible. So you gotta just pull inside a driveway close to it, to the building, and just ask them to come down because there's no parking. So that, that, that happened to me before many times and otherwise I mean it's impossible to do Postmates if you don't I mean you gotta just think on your feet and take the best um, route so the other thing that I wanna say well I'll get in like two minutes two minutes to go to order the food uh, and then the, the other thing that I also uh, learned uh, was um, as far as parking goes like park somewhere that is less risky to get tickets like uh, let's say if it's a meter, park at a meter first, that's your first bet. Second, park somewhere like that is not a red, because red is obviously like the worst thing you can get. Don't park in the red. You can park in the loading for a few minutes, if it's going to be a few minutes. But mainly just uh, try to park uh, where you eat safe. I mean, even if you have to like park in someone's block on the driveway for a second, it's better than parking on a red, you know? It's really just like a automatic file, and, and you can get a big ticket. Okay, okay, I gotta be a little more. Uh, okay, so here, here we are, guys. We at Chick Fil A, and there's a line outside. So hopefully, it's gonna take me three hours to get my food. Mm. I think. Oh man, it says do not enter. Shit. Mm. I gotta. Uh, wow, so many cars. Is this a drive-through or the parking? I have a feeling I should park in the right parking lot. You see, the Chick-fil-A parking lot right now it's full because it doesn't have many spaces. So the other option is to park at the right aid, but then again, if they have a security guard and they can tow your car away. So it's kind of a tricky one. So I'm just gonna pull inside this right aid parking lot see what the vibe is it's not too crazy I can just park here and plus I have to buy some stuff from right anyways so maybe I can no but then that will take up a lot of time so what I can do is I'm just park I'm only gonna be a few minutes so oh yeah I should Oh, it's all drive through this one. Oh, I wonder if you can do the drive through. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Hey, guys, so we just got back with the food. Um, it's pretty much a few stuff. And we got the drink, and we're putting a cup holder, so we should get going, and we're gonna put it in this little cool. Postmates bag just to get the worm, and we already texted the customer saying we're on our way, and she said thank you. 
that's how it looks. I just put this is this is this, and she said oh he said thank you. So we are ready to go. Hey guys, we are almost here. We're one minute away. We're in like in the mountains, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but we're like in the mountains of uh, Mahone Drive Mountains. It's a lot of small little roads, it's downhill, uphill, downhill. Almost there. It's 209. It took us 15 minutes exactly to, to get here. It's not bad. So it's like that. What's that? Here. Ian, right? Boss? Yeah, hey, yeah, brother. There you go, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's that. That's that. And then I put like a three ketchup in there, so it's all good. Oh. Okay. Thank you and so much. Food, Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. Have a good Thank one. You. Thank you, sir. Okay guys, so we just gave the order, as you saw, uh, we thanked the person, he was very thankful, we were very thank thankful, so he was all positive, all around, energy, um, shared, mutually, and now we are going to, I got another job that just came in, it's at a GC um, marketplace, I'm guessing it's like a little grocery place, I gotta do some grocery shopping or something, and take it to the guest, um, to the guest, I'm sorry, to the customer I'm, I'm only two point I'm only two minutes away it's awesome it's right around the corner this is what happens a lot of times when you're getting uh, jobs that is like kind of like in the suburbs in a way or the hills you get other jobs that you would have never gotten if you're not in the area because the GPS will find you the, the closer so you kind of benefit from small jobs that uh, require some easy tasks you know instead of going through traffic so but this one, I'm going to be there literally in 0.3 minutes. And by the way, this one that I just uh, just dropped up, I got paid 5.49, so it's not bad. And I don't know how much TP is going to live or not, or it doesn't matter. I mean, maybe he will, maybe he won't. Hopefully he will, but if he doesn't, he is not biggie. The next guy will, or next girl. So we are, yeah, so we're only like a minute away, then I can feel away from that, this place called like GC Marketplace in Mulholland Hills. It's like a, I'm guessing it's a, let's see, I got, I got a customer for my phone repair that I do just right now, so maybe after this one, I'm, I'm just going to go over there and do that repair and juggle this and that. Right now, rush hour is going to start, so it's the perfect time to actually escape and then just come back at dinner time to take care of stuff. Okay, 3315 coming up, so it should, should be right here, GC Market. Guessing this one. This is the right. So it's, this should be the one. 3315. Is this the one? Is this not? Let's see, no parking. I'm going to go away. No parking. Hey, you know where's the GC Market parking place? Where's the parking spot for the GC Market? Oh, there, okay. okay. First time coming here, I'm not. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, brother. Got it. Hey guys, we just got here. We went from the back, lucky, lucky for us, because um, the Coinga Street is very busy. It's called GC uh, by Gary Arabia Marketplace. Hey guys, we'll see you back. We're gonna go and see what's going on there. Hey guys, I just got the food. Uh, it was a uh, some kind of a drink plus some uh, cool food right here. I just put it in here and uh, zip it just so it can stay warm. And also, so it won't tip over and things don't fall out of the, the bag because that happened before one time and I had to cancel the order. Um, so now we're heading out there. Let's see how far we are. After this, we're gonna just go ahead and do an iPhone repair because it just came in right now. So that's gonna be awesome. So we did two jobs for our starters before the rush hour kills. Or not kills, but just goes in, into 
to the fact, you know. And so we should be good right now. And we are. We're only driving 1.8 miles, which is awesome. Just have to drop on. Just uh, hop on the Kalinga Street, and we should be there in four minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna text him. Hollywood, I guess. That's where I live. Ah, uh, let's see. This order was pretty easy. It pretty much it already prepaid, so we just had to wait for the, the thing to be ready, and then we just picked it up. It wasn't really something we had to order and get in line. It was just kind of good. It, it helps. It makes the job easier. Very cooler. So we got exit Highland, the crazy street. That is always traffic because of all the tourists going to the you know, Highland Mall, the Kodak Theater thing. So we're heading out there right now to drop off this boat and then we're going to drive to Culver City to fix uh, an iPhone 6. Just uh, It's my own business, it's 40 yard. Um, we drive for business, iPhone repair business, and a lot of you know already that, but it's just for any people that are here because of the Postmate video. We also do 4 uh, phone repairs, iPhone repairs, Samsung too as well, iPads, MacBooks, so if you need our help, let us know, we would love to help or give you tips on how to fix your computer or laptop or iPhone or iPad or etc. So here we are, we're going to exit this, I guess we got to go all the way around Kalinka, make a left on pilgrimage, yeah we got to make a left on this bridge called pilgrimage, which is the bridge pretty much. Um, Yeah, so so far, guys, I uh, this is my second job, Postmates drop. It's my second Postmate uh, the delivery, and so far it's fun. I'm not gonna complain. It's actually fun. I love the I love uh, breaking my my uh, breaking the ice and getting in the mood because it makes things more fun once you get in the habit of it. And this car is driving one mile an hour, so I have to go on the left. Right, but I can't really do much. Okay, so I gotta go to the guard. Oh, I know what apartment this is. I've been here before for a customer. Um, my I had a customer actually that lived there before. So, to apartment 2101. It's 400 feet away, so it should be this one. I've been here before. I can't remember the code. I used to know what the code was. Guard here. Um, I don't see a guard. guys we just got here um, and we are going to deliver the food right now to 2101 so we'll see right now see you guys back hey guys we just delivered that uh, food uh, we got 410 um, it was like a little labyrinth -y, but we were able to find a place uh, using like under some it was pretty crazy though we found it so it's fine 
And so now we're going to do our own repair, our own business that I own called Pony R. We're going to do a phone, so we're not going to do it fully until, until later this evening uh, because uh, but it's really bad time to post me doing rush hour because it's really bad. So the best to do it around so it's like 5.36 or it's still rush hour but it's not as bad because you're not really any traffic and stuff. So. Yeah, so that was that. That's so bad. So thank you for watching. This is Pony Ari Gold, and this is my first post-made um, vlog video. And uh, I will put some more tips later on as I go with postmates. I'm just gonna try them for like a month to see how it goes, get some extra money, um, some extra like, that I have to pay. And so yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, it's pretty cool. I enjoyed my first day. I only had two jobs, but I will some more later on, depending on how busy I get with my other job. So, but if I'm not, I will be back here to show you more Postman videos and eventually I'll take you guys with me to the Postman location so you can see how the up goes and how the grid goes and etc. So, thank you for watching this morning, Ari Gold, and this is Postman video one, and we'll see you in video two soon. And have a great day. Thank you for watching. You gotta take my cues.